Let's see, are your coyote friends have chilled out? Kinda. It's about seven o'clock in the morning, well, about 7.30, I guess. Sun just came up and I've already got Sierra out. She's been running around, uh, grabbing or grabbing bones and, <laughs> and chewing on them. And we've already gone for a bunch of walks this morning, but check out how pretty the prairie is out here. I wanna show you this real quick. I'm camped next to a really large high altitude prairie. That's at about, I think the elevation here is about 7,000 feet. And this prairie goes on, I mean, for, for miles. It's huge over here. I think it's about, I think they said it's about five miles across and then you got the mountains you know right here behind us and so the cool thing about that is is that these huge herds of like elk and deer will go across that um and some good bones there oh my gosh you almost got this one all eaten pumpkin you've almost eaten that whole thing this morning just a little monster oh i need to go get your brush so i can brush you real quick You want to play them. Oh, you want to play, don't you? Okay, so let's stop. I just gotta stop. Just for a second. Come over here. Come over. You want to have a bone? Well, hey, hang on. You gotta stay right here. Let's come over here. Good girl. This is get you right here. Stop, stop, stop. All right, Steve. Guess what I got for you over here? You want a bone? You want your bone? Hold on. Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're having an awesome Wednesday. Uh, I wanted to go over the, inf uh, the information of the supplements that I'm giving Sierra for her cancer. And I wanted to start out by uh, going over the CT scans that we had done last May. And so, uh, just to give you a, a full history of what happened with Sierra, we were out hiking in kind of near Fair Play, Colorado in the summer of 2021. And uh, was it the summer of 2020? Let's see, it's 22. Yeah, summer of 2021. And Sierra was doing fine. And then all of a sudden, one day, she just wouldn't get out of bed. And I thought, what's going on? She was breathing real heavy and her nose was running like crazy. And she felt like she had a fever. So I thought, well, maybe she has a cold or something like that. And so, because uh, it was, it was kind of chilly. We were up at almost 13,000 feet and just kind of running around um, this lake. And she was ju jumping in the water and stuff. So I thought, well, maybe she got cold from it and she has, you know, the flu or something like that. So we went into the Fair Play um, emergency vet that they have there, and it was like a Friday night, and they 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 stayed there, which was really cool. And they're like, "Hey, we'll we'll stick around until you get in here." And uh, we went in there, and they they told me they said, "Hey, we we don't have very good imaging. We just basically have um, like low level X ray machines and stuff like that." But Sierra has a big mass in her in her in her in her hind hind quarters, like in one of her anal sacs. And so dogs on both sides of their butt, you know, they've got these anal sacs and um, there was a tumor in there that was over an inch in diameter, but it had grown in instead of out. And so I never saw it, but I noticed that she had started to pay attention to like her, her private parts a lot by this time. And I thought, what's, what's bothering her? You know, does she have some, you know, is the food that I'm giving her maybe not agreeing with her or something, but everything seemed to be okay. And so anyway, went into there and they, they, they forwarded us on to the Wheat Ridge Animal Hospital in Wheat Ridge, Colorado near Golden. It's kind of on the west side of Denver. And that place is phenomenal. The doctors there are great. Um, they did a really good job with Sierra. And what happened was initially we went in and they said, hey, we'll, we'll get Sierra stable, but she needs to stay with us overnight. And we'll, we'll monitor and make sure she has, you know, she's comfortable and all these things and we'll get her back to feeling good. And so, you know, when I took her in there, she was really having a tough time. She, she was like 
breathing heavy and you could tell she was in pain and she kept on looking at her hindquarters and all that stuff and kind of paying attention to it. And then the next day after I, uh, after she stayed the night with them and they gave her some medication to kind of chill out inside that, the next day she just bounced back to normal. Like she was not, didn't seem like she was having anything bother her. She came out, she's all happy and happy to see me and running around and stuff like that. And so I thought, huh. And while she was there, they did uh, full x-rays with better imaging and all that stuff. And uh, I believe, did we have a CT scan done? Yeah, we had a CT scan done then. That's about 2,500 bucks every time you do it. And so we've had two of them done so far. And so uh, when they did the CT scan, they came back and they said, we've got really bad news. They're like, she's got a really large tumor in her rear. And then it has spread to her uh, lymph nodes on the underside of her spine. And then we see a tiny spot on her lung and I'm like, crap. And so what was frustrating was, is there was a doctor that I went, or a vet that I went to in Sedona, uh, like a year prior, because when we were going through Poncha Springs on the way back, I took Sierra in just for a checkup and the vet's like, hey, I don't know if it's just crystals in her bladder that, that was causing her to have a little bit of a, a bladder infection. They're like, but I thought I saw on imaging just a tiny little lump behind her, her, um, uh, uh, um, Oh gosh, what is it? Her bladder. They're like, I, I, I thought they like they, they thought that they saw something behind her bladder, and so I said, okay. I said, well, we're going to Sedona right now. I got to head back because we were heading back to our property in Arizona, and I said, uh, let's go. I'll, I'll halt. I'll stop off. There's a real good vet there. We'll stop in and get her checked out. So anyway, so I went into that vet and he took her in the back room, and. Um, I gave her an exam, so I came back and said, "Oh, she's a hundred percent fine. She's she's great. She's in good health. Nah, that's that's no issue. You know, everything's good." And I'm like, "Oh, okay." So I was real happy about that because I thought, "Great, she's doing she's doing awesome." Well, the guy just completely, you know, just missed it, and I was mad about that. I actually gave him a pretty bad review online. I was like, you know, on in hindsight, I wanted to believe that she was fine, but it seemed like you were just in a rush to get out the door. You know, it was like it was like the end of the day. And, you know, I think that he just overlooked it and was like, ah, it's no big deal. And that, that was, that's frustrating because had I caught it then and had it removed from, had this uh, cancer removed from Intersac and it hadn't, and it hadn't spread, then we wouldn't be in the scenario we're in now. So very disappointed in that. And I let that guy know about it. So, uh, but back to what we're doing today, uh, or, or back to where we're at today, we had a, another CT scan done on, uh, April 19th of this year at the Aspen Vet Clinic in uh, Flagstaff. And so I'm just gonna read what we've got here. So the, so the history is that Sierra was seen at Aspen Vet Clinic uh, in, in Flagstaff for a CT scan. And that was on um, May 19th, like I said before. And basically the history that they put on there is that you know the anal sac had been surgically removed and affected lymph nodes. Um, there's incomplete margins currently managed with no clinical signs, meaning that she didn't have any, that there's no outward appearance of her being sick. And uh, the two suspected pulmonary nodes, which are in her chest, uh, based on thoracic rads. And so that's what we did the CT scan for, was to see what was in her, in her lungs. Uh, patient currently not on any meds, doing great at home. CT advised by oncology to confirm um, and check for regional occurrences of where the cancer was taken out. And so the diagnosis, um, the report after they did this, the, or, the, or the findings, it says total series four pre and post contrast acquired in the transverse plane and additionally reviewed in dorsal and sagittal planes in lung, bone, and soft tissue windows. Uh, for cardiovascular, the cardiovascular chambers and pulmonary vascular are normal in size, shape, and contrast uh, filling pattern. No vascular filling defect scenes. That's, that's great. Okay. Um, the trachea is uniform in diameter and normal in position with an endotracheal tube in place, which means that, you know, they had to put that in place when she was, um, when she was under. The esophagus is, is empty and a uniform wall and small amounts of gas within normal, but no uh, dilation. Let's see what else. Okay, so the cranial and caudal uh, medicinal compartments of, are of normal width and without evidence of pathology, which is great. Let me turn off my uh, computer here, or mail. Uh, pulmonary, okay, so this is where we get into the lung stuff. There are multiple round in inter, 
interstitial nodules, which I don't know what that means. I don't know what that one word means. And all lung lobes ranging in size from 0.4 centimeters to 2.5 centimeters in diameter. So the 2.5 centimeter in diameter one is, is an inch in size. So that's, that's not good. The remainder of the pul uh, pulmonary, uh, there's another word I don't understand, perinectia is normal. And uh, there's like, it doesn't seem like the tissues or the areas around it are, in, are inflamed, which is great because that would cause, you know, a lot of uh, breathing issues. Uh, the bronchi have normal branching pattern, thin walls, and air wire diameters, so that's all normal, which is great. Um, as far as the rest of it, the diaphragm's great, everything's intact. Um, musculoskeletal system, normal body, there's no issues there. Liver, normal size, shape, and smooth margins, everything's working fine. Gallbladder, fine. Spleen, normal to mildly enlarged, consistent with sedation, so that happens with anesthesia. Uh, stomach, normal size, shape, and wall thickness, and enhanced patterns, uh, everything's fine. Pancreas, normal size, shape, and margination. Uh, margination. Uh, small bowel, uh, all of the things down there are fine. There's no foreign material or obstructive patterns. The colon is great. Um, there's no, uh, no no blockages or anything like that because what happened before is when the anal sac tumor was so big, it was pushing up against her colon and she was having a hard time going to the bathroom. Uh, Bladder is in great shape. Um, right right kidney is in good shape. Right gland is in good shape. Left kidney is in good shape. Left gland is in good, good shape. The lymph nodes, they said that there's two sacral lymph nodes and... Um, the, there, there's one that's mildly enlarged, uh, measuring one centimeter, uh, and then there's another one that's a point centimeter diameter. But what they think is that's like scar tissue from where it was taken out. And so that's basically <clears throat> the rundown there talking about our lungs. And so uh, as far as, I'm gonna put some screen captures up right now of what the images look like in her lungs that show the pulmonary nodules and all those things that are in her in her, in her chest so you can see where that one is that's really big you know the, the the one tumor that's large and then you can see all the other little tiny masses in her chest now this was done in may and then at the beginning of the year here i want to get another ct scan done because of all the medication that we've been giving her and hopefully that's gonna really help out all right so we're gonna go over the medicine right now but i'm gonna button up the windows because it's starting to get a little windy in here so hang tight okay so i want to go through the products that we have from vitality science and and also talk about the food that I give Sierra just to help uh, give her as good of a chance for her immune system to really combat this cancer and so um, I came across Vitality Science this past um, let's see was it I think it was in January or February of this year and I was I was looking obviously for holistic treatments for Sierra because I did not want to put her through chemo and the chemo there's two reasons why number one it was 1100 bucks a month or about a thousand bucks a month with the doctor, you know, um, visits and stuff like that. The, the actual chemo medicine itself was 800 a month. But, um, you know, a lot of people had warned me, they, they reached out and they said, look, I put my dog through chemo, I'd never do it again. You know, it totally changed their personality. You know, they, they had lots of complications with it, you know, and so on and so forth. Other people had messaged and said, hey, my dog went through chemo and everything was fine. But I didn't want to risk that with Sierra. I thought, you know, if this is her last dance, I don't want to make her feel worse. And the few times that she has had accidents in the truck or in the tent, you know, with any sort of food that she ate that didn't agree with her stomach, I could always tell that she felt really bad and she was always like ashamed and had her head down and stuff like that. And I didn't want her feeling like, you know, th that way on a regular basis with the chemo because it has a really bad way. I know, sweetie, you were talking about you. Had a really bad, it has a really bad way of like disturbing, you know, their digestive process and making them sick to their stomach and nauseous all the time and things like that. So I opted to not do that and instead I, chose to try to research online, you know, some sort of holistic treatment that could help her out. And the Vitality Science website, I came across that just Googling, you know, like cancer in dogs and cancer in pets. And I even did cancer in cats too, to see if, you know, something would come up that would give me good, uh, good information. And all this stuff kept going back. Um, there it goes. All, all of the links that I found, a lot of them were going back to Vitality Science, and there were all these things on their blog. They had these blog posts on their website that were talking about, you know, how you uh, can use different different uh, stuff, different like supplements and things like that to boost immune system in animals. Excuse me, to help them combat any sort of cancer or anything like that. And so, what I went with initially, and what we've been doing lately. Is there a siliquent uh, powder, vital pet lipids oil, and herbal anti-tincture uh, along with a high-grade CBD? 
Um, the Vital Pet Lipids, we'll go over this first. It comes, it's like premium fish oil and it's for neuro neurological and, and hormonal, hormonal support in uh, cats and dogs. And I put 25 pumps of this into her food, uh, her afternoon meal. And uh, she seems to like it. I think there's something in this that, that makes it taste good because she really goes after her her uh, afternoon meal. The morning meal she does too, but the afternoon meal she like mows down. So I put this in there. Um, also use the herbal anti, and this is for uh, supports a healthy inflammatory response. And what I want to make sure is that any areas that are around the cancer that they don't get inflamed, especially in her lungs, because that'll decrease any sort of you know, oxygen consumption, all that stuff, and can complicate our breathing. And so I think this has really helped. I added this later. I didn't do this. Let's see, was this initially? No, no, this was initially. I did order this with the initial one. And um, and it's working great for her. It seems like also, too, if there was any other inflammation or joints or whatever, this has helped out. So I use eight drops of this per day in her food. And then as far as the CBD is concerned, I do have two different CBDs that I use, and I just ran out of the other one. This is the, the sun-grown hemp oil that is from Vitality Science. Uh, the other one that I was using was actually from, um, it, it's called CBD Heal, and it's specially formulated for dogs with like autoimmune problems or cancer or like heart problems or organ problems, anything like that. And it's a bit, it's, it's kind of expensive. That's a hundred bucks for that. And um, you know, this package here that I have with the Vital Pet Lipids, the um, Siliquin Powder, and the herbal anti and the hemp oil and we'll go over this in a, in a second this is a silicone powder this all together i believe was around 200 bucks like it's about 200 bucks a month and so that's you know that's that's much more uh, uh oops, we're getting a lot of wind here that's much more affordable than you know the the chemo that they're wanting to do so and, and i think it's it's much easier on her body she hasn't had any bad reactions to this stuff so I can tell that this stuff is um, is good for our system as far as you know not causing any additional problems internally with you know that could complicate the cancer. Uh, this stuff here is called Siliquent. I, I made a mistake. I want to get the Siliquent Gold next time, and I for some reason when I was when I was uh, ordering it, I thought it was the Siliquent Gold. The Siliquent Gold is something that you can get uh, only in the United States, and it has a few more things in it. It's got like turmeric and let's see what does this one have. Yeah, this one doesn't have it. it has turmeric and like one other thing in that, that that this doesn't. And I'm not sure why it's only available in the States, but you know, that is. And so, uh, but I've been using this and it's, um, what you do is you, the, let's see, the, um, hey, administer, it's a three fourths of a table or a teaspoon for up to 20 pounds. And then for every 10 pounds after that, you give her half a teaspoon. And so for her, it's about, let's see, so, almost two teaspoons full of, of this powder. And then what you can do is, is I, I do it twice a day. And that's what it says here. It says administer orally two times daily for optimum immune strength and vitality. So uh, this has been great. And I, you know, as soon as I started this stuff too, she seemed like she really perked up. And I think the cancer was really starting to bother her before, I know, before we got these supplements going. But now that we've got the supplements going in her, I mean, she's doing well. Her coat looks great. Every time we go into our vet in Flagstaff, Dr. Unser says that she's like, man, I'm floored that, that, that Sierra's doing so great. She's just doing awesome. This is amazing, you know? And I mean, that was last summer, last time we saw, or I guess, let's see, no, we saw that, we saw her in the fall. I think we saw her in the fall. Let's see, what is it, November? No, we didn't see her. I think the last time we saw him was in like August. So we need we need to make another appointment before I go back to Kansas for the holidays for Sierra just to get checked out. But, you know, uh, she said, she's like, man, if Sierra keeps doing well, we're going to write a paper on her about how we can use holistic medicine. Um, one thing I also used too initially was I used um, uh, turkey tail mushrooms because that, that's been proven. Uh, they've done a lot of research on that recently. And Japan's actually doing human trials on that right now to where uh, turkey tail mushrooms have been shown to stop the spread of cancer in your body, which is great. So it won't metastasize and go anywhere else. And so if you can just keep it in one area and treat it, the chances are, you, you know, you might be able to keep your, your, your pet uh, with you much longer than if you didn't use this stuff and have them be in good condition. And that was the biggest thing that I was concerned with with any sort of treatment was, you know, how's her quality of life gonna be? And her quality of life is awesome. I mean, she's her appetite's good. 
Um, she loves running around. Her eyes are clear. Um, you know, her, her weight has maintained at a solid like 42, 43 pounds, like consistently. Um, she sleeps great. And like I said, every once in a while, she'll have just a little bit of a coughing fit, which will last like five or 10 seconds. And it's mainly more like a dry cough. And that is indicative of tumors in the lungs. But what I'm hoping is that when we get our next, our, uh, our, the next CT scan done this, you know, probably after the first of the year, is that it'll show an actual decrease in that tumor size. And so here's a, a shot of what the tumors look like again, um, just in her lungs and also, hang on baby girl, and then also too, she's got some stuff that's kind of in her rear, but we think a lot of that is just a scar tissue. So real quick, I wanna go through and read these to you. I know, sweet girl, what you, you want, you want, some, you want some food? Can we get you some treats? Um, I want to go through this real quick and just read about what the benefits are for this, for the celiquent powder, the vital pet lipids, and the herbal anti-tincture. So we'll start with the celiquent. Uh, celiquent's high-quality uh, vitamin and mineral content features increased nutrition amounts, which are generally missing from the body. The addition of these nutrients will, help, will strengthen cellular function, nourish the organs, and increase energy. Often when an animal is experiencing a variety of symptoms, including, including vomit, vomiting, diarrhea, depression, rashes, allergies, continual infections, weight loss, and lethargy, they need to strengthen their immune system. A strong immune system will help the body defend itself from future diseases and ailments, as well as revitalize your animal during and after an illness or after taking toxic medication. So for the vital pet lipids, uh, the benefits promotes glandular strength, enhance mu enhances mucous membranes, and makes coats and eyes shiny. I can tell you her coat is phenomenally, I mean, everybody has said it. They're like, man, her coat looks great. She, this is the best she's ever looked. So I kind of wish, I really wish I would have done this a lot sooner. Um, and uh, let's see, the lipids help normalize blood sugar and cholesterol levels and may reduce joint pain. One thing I want to mention about this too is the description for this is tuna oil is the preferred DHA supplement and is a vital and is vital for proper nerve function and brain development. Our tuna oil tests at 1 20th of the allow, allowable limits of mercury. Um, and then astaxanthin, <laughs> extracted from spirulina, is one of the most beneficial lipids known to science. Its antioxidant strength is 550 times stronger than vitamin E. And you want those antioxidants in, there, in, in any sort of you know situation where you've got cancer or any sort of disease like that. You, know, you want to get as much of the bad stuff out of the body as possible, and this helps accomplish that. Okay, for the herbal anti-tincture, uh, the benefits of herbal anti uh, is it tonifies and disinfects the gastrointestinal and urinary tracts of cats and dogs that have treatment-resistant inflammation and scratching where no natural uh, chemical remedy other than steroids has been affected. Uh, or has been effective. And so uh, the description of this is herbal anti is uniquely constructed to be powerful yet gentle, containing a venous flytrap, uh, capable of digesting pathogenic protein structures such as those causing chronic digestive disorders and immune deficiencies. I know, it's sweetie, we'll go outside here in just a second. Yucca is widely used in its whole plant form as an anti-parasitic and anti-inflammatory. Finally, licorice, known as the great harmonizer, has the ability to make other herbs work more effectively. So you can see like all of these together, you know, the the powder, the oils, the tincture, the CBD, it all works together to help like really boost the immune system and see if you can, you know, help to, to give your animal the best chance to fight the cancer that they can. Now, a lot of people, if you go to Vitality Science website and all the links are in the video description below, if you go to their website and look, you'll see the testimonials from people and a lot of them recently saying like, hey, my dog or my cat, you know, I started using the, the, the your products and their tumors are shrinking or their tumors have gone away. And a lot of people are like, it's a miracle, you know, my, my animal's cured. So um, the other thing that is important to mention is they published a paper and I think, it, I think I saw it in April of this year, so I started using this. Um, there is a, a dewormer called Panacur C, and Panacur C has been proven to um, inhibit the ability of cancer cells to uptake oxygen, especially when you couple it with CBD. And so I started using the Panacur C on her three times a week, and what you do is you do one gram per 10 pounds so she's 42 pounds so we do four grams of it in the morning and i do think it may have a little bit of a funny taste to it because she, she kind of like smell her food and be like huh and then i'll put some goat's milk in it and stir it up and then she and then she eats it but uh that that has been uh we've been doing that since april and it's uh, every every week three days on four days off and i'm hoping that you know when we do our ct scan here at the first of the year that it'll show that the tumors have gone down in her lungs now there's a, actually a human who cured himself from cancer he had small cell um 
I can't remember what, what type of what type of cancer, but in the, in the lungs, it was like a small cell cancer in the lungs. And uh, he had it for three years, and they told him like, hey, you know, this is like you're probably this is probably going to take you out. And then he started using panacracea, and he cured himself, and he's been he's been free of cancer now for a long time. And so um, once that story kind of got out and everything, and they started testing it out in dogs, they realized that it's effective for them too, and also for cats. And so panacracea is like a, I guess it's similar to like an ivermectin, you know, a dewormer, but it's constructed differently the way the medicine is created, and it's easy to get. It's it's, it's affordable. You can get it at any pet store really, or you can get it on the internet. I usually order it from Amazon. And, uh, yeah, I mean, she, ter she tolerates it well. She doesn't have any upset stomach or anything like that. So we're going to continue just doing this, and I'm going to continue doing the best that I can to provide her with a mellow environment. Um, you know, stress will feed any sort of cancer and stressful environments and all that stuff. And so I do my best to try to stay as even keel as possible, regardless of what's happening throughout my day, just to make sure that she's, she's – um, you know, not stressed and we don't have anything feeding the cancer. Another thing too is that um, the food that you give your dog is really important. No sugars, no grains whatsoever. And the reason for that is those uh, sugars and grains can be, grains can be converted to sugars and starches. And then that, those feed the cancer cells. So if you don't have those in there and then you're giving, the, you're giving your dog or, or cat these supplements and you're also uh, using panic or C, the chances are you're giving them the best, best shot to uh, combat the illness that they have. And so for as far as the food goes, when we're here in Arizona, um, I haven't gone down to Prescott yet, but there's a really great place on there called Paws and Claws, which is a food, which is like animal pet store. And they also, you can go in there and... Um, uh, whoops, my, I got some backdraft here on my stove. I don't have it running. It's kind of it's got some ash coming out the front. We'll take care of that in a bit. Um, but anyway, the, the the paws and claws is a great place, and they have a really good raw food selection, which is great for dogs that are going through any sort of illnesses, and it's just good for dogs in general. Then when we're on the road, I use a human grade uh, food that's dehydrated and ground up, so that way it's easier to carry. And this is this is probably about two weeks worth of food for her, um, and that comes from a company called the Honest Kitchen. And I know there's been uh, some things in the past, you know, sometimes you'll hear stories about different food companies having, you know, like stuff in their food. But I've always had that good good uh, luck with this with Sierra. She seems to really like it. There's like sweet potatoes in it and beef and, you know, carrots and celery. I mean, all these different things that are that are good for dogs. And so I'll put the link for that down in the video description as well as far as the foods that I use. For the raw food, we use OC Raw Dog. And I usually get like a rabbit uh, rabbit patties for her or um, I, think, I think that's all we've done is a rabbit patties. Oh, and then also too, there's they have like um, some really good greens, like a medley of different greens for her. So I'll, I'll, I'll mix those together and she will, she just mows that down. So that's, that's pretty good stuff. But my goal with all of this is to try to keep her as comfortable as possible while giving her medicine that's not going to like jack up her body and make her feel bad and also try to give her the best chance to combat this and here we are 14 months after she was diagnosed and she did have surgery to remove the the tumor in her rear and the six so the six on um on the underside of her spine the, the six, six lymph nodes or five lymph nodes i think it was but you know like i said it's still in her lungs and so uh that's that just crushes me that that happened that, that this has happened with her but you know, the good thing is, is she's still doing great. Aren't you that's me? Oh, you're just such a good girl. So, all right. So that's that's it for what I have here. Um, Vitality Science, check out their website. I've got all the links in the video description below. And if you have any questions, hit me up. Um, I made this video because I, I am getting a lot of questions from people about what, what I'm doing to help Sierra and kind of keep her in good health while she's going through this. And so I figured this video would help because then I can forward it to people and say, Here, here's the video of what I'm doing and here's all the links and stuff like that. So I'll be as thorough as possible in the description below for the for all, this, all the links. Also, I just want to say thank you to everybody for all the well wishes for Sierra. The amount of love that y'all show her is just, I mean, it's it, it just warms my heart and it helps me to keep going with this because it, it is stressful for me you know and i i try not to show it but it's it, it just you know there's there's nights where i where i have a tough time with it so but thank you for everybody for being positive and i try to stay as positive as possible for her so all right we're gonna go uh enjoy the rest of the day i'm gonna take her on a little walk to the lake around the corner and we'll get that on video so i can share it with y'all because it's a really pretty area so thanks a lot for tuning in if you got any questions hit me up in the comment section below or go to my website and there's a contact page on there which goes to my email and you can send me a message that way as well all right thank you